In our enlightened world, there are supposedly no more mysteries, and science can simply explain every phenomenon. Perhaps then the following findings are not of this world, but see for yourself. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and archaeological discoveries? Then show us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our journey. Khufu Ship Mystery the discovery in 1954 of the Khufu ship, an ancient Egyptian pharaoh buried inside his funerary pyramid, is one of the most important discoveries of the last century. The wooden ship is 4,600 years old and was reportedly so well constructed that it could still sail if put back on the Nile today. Although the exact purpose of the boat remains a mystery, historians believe it was placed in the pyramid for the pharaoh Khufu who was buried here. It's sometimes referred to as the Sun Barge because it's believed to have been installed in Khufu's burial chamber to enable him to sail across the sky with the sun god Ra after his death. It was discovered on May 26, 1954 by archaeologist Kamel El Malak while digging under a stone wall on the south side of the Great Pyramid. The Valley of the Golden Mummies in 1996, an amazing discovery was made in Egypt. Archaeologists found a two-square-mile necropolis that contained a number of important tombs. During the initial excavation, four of the tombs were found to contain 105 well-preserved mummies, many of them with elaborate golden masks. Thus, the cemetery became known as the Valley of the Golden Mummies. However, it is believed that the initial discovery was only the tip of the iceberg, as it's thought there may be as many as 10,000 mummies in the cemetery. The mummies were uncovered by Dr. Zahi Hawass and his team in the Baharia Oasis, located about 380 kilometers west of the pyramids. A guard named Abdul Mangud had been trying to restrain his donkey when the donkey's leg broke through a hole in the ground. When Mangud peered through the hole, he saw gold glittering below. Archaeologists who were called in declared the discovery the find of the century. Roman-era mummy found in Egyptian oasis. Egyptian archaeologists uncovered an intricately carved plaster sarcophagus depicting a wide-eyed woman in a tunic in a newly discovered tomb complex in a remote desert oasis, announced the Egyptian Antiquities Authority in Cairo. It's the first Roman-style mummy found in the Baharia oasis about 300 kilometers southwest of Cairo, said archaeologist Mahmoud Afifi, who led the excavation. The find was part of a cemetery from the Greco-Roman period with 14 tombs. He also said it's a unique find, confirming initial investigations indicating that a mummy lies inside the coffin. The carved plaster sarcophagus is only one meter long and shows a woman wearing a long tunic, headscarf, bracelet, shoes and a pearl necklace. Colored stones in the eyes of the sarcophagus gave the appearance that she was awake. Afifi said they have not yet dated the new discovery, but the burial style suggests she belonged to the long period of Roman rule in Egypt, which lasted several hundred years and began in 31 BC. A rare statue Archaeologists in Egypt have uncovered two new artifacts from ancient times, a rare statue of one of the country's most famous pharaohs and a tiny ancient sphinx. The Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities announced that a pink granite statue of the famous ancient ruler Ramses II has been found, describing the artifact as one of the rarest archaeological discoveries. A hieroglyphic inscription on the back of the stone bore the name Strong Bull, a reference to the strength and vitality of the king who was buried. The statue, covered in mud, was found in the property of a man arrested for illegal excavations near the ancient pyramids of Giza, according to the ministry's statement. Fortunately, the statue is now in the possession of the authorities. Pylos Combat Agate in 2015, archaeologists discovered an intact tomb of a Mycenaean warrior or priest, later dubbed the Griffin Warrior, in an olive grove near Pylos, Greece. It dates to around 1450 BC. It's an incredible find. Researchers recovered gold and silver cups, weapons and armor, and 50 gold and precious stone seals engraved with intricate images. Now, researchers have fully analyzed one of these agate seals and found it to be on par with the greatest works of art in the ancient world. But unlike ancient Greek sculptures or Roman mosaics, the seal is difficult to see without a magnifying glass. 
the engraved image is less than an inch and a half long, but shows an incredibly detailed scene of a warrior slaying two of his enemies. The seal has been dubbed the Pylos Combat Agate. The stunning battle scene on the seal stone, one of the greatest masterpieces of Aegean art, stands in comparison with some of the drawings in the Michelangelo exhibition, now on view at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, said Malcolm H. Wiener, an expert on Aegean prehistory and curator emeritus at the Metropolitan Museum. The Cocaine Mummies Evidence showing that ancient Egyptians had crossed the Atlantic 3,000 years ago, long before Columbus in 1492, comes not only from emulating cultural traditions like Peru and the Canary Islands, where evidence of trepanation and mummification has been found, but from actual Egyptian mummies themselves. Using an electron microscope, scientists discovered grains of tobacco adhering to the fibers from the bandages of the mummies. This initial discovery was called a lie by authorities, and older scholars insisted that there had simply been contamination with modern objects, perhaps from an archaeologist smoking a pipe nearby. Tobacco did not come to Europe from South America until the time of Columbus, 2,700 years later, which rules out the possibility that tobacco was present during the reign of Ramses, around 1213 BC. A few years later, Dr. Svelta Belovanova, a forensic toxicologist, followed up on the original findings with even more intriguing evidence. To rule out the possibility of contemporary contamination, Dr. Belovanova took samples of the mummy's intestinal tissue, and to her amazement, she discovered traces of cannabis, coca, and tobacco. This was definitive proof. The ancient Egyptians learned of intoxicants from the Americas. The Oldest Fossil Trees at 3 billion in number, Earth's trees are estimated to outnumber the stars in the Milky Way. These wooden marvels suck carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, protect soil from erosion, provide water circulation in ecosystems, and support countless forms of life. The roots that sprout from the base of tree trunks are the arboreal equivalent of a digestive tract, exchanging water and nutrients with the surrounding soil. Roots literally anchor a plant, and the more extensive they are, the bigger and stronger the trees can grow. Now, scientists have discovered the oldest known forest on Earth outside Cairo, New York. At 385 million years old, the ancient forest predates the origin of seed-producing plants, a group that includes nearly all living trees. The Paleozoic forest is also home to the remains of intricate tree root systems that bear an incredible resemblance to the plant structures of modern trees. The Oldest Known Strain of Plague the world's oldest known strain of plague was found outside a small town in western Sweden nearly 5,000 years ago. A group of researchers from Sweden, Denmark and France analyzed skeletons from a grave outside Folsköping and found DNA traces of Yersinia pentis, the bacteria that causes plague. The remains belonged to farmers who lived in the area at the time. All strains of plague discovered in later periods, the best known of which is the Black Death, which killed more than 50 million people in the 14th century, are variants of this, the researchers said. The discovery of such an early variant of the plague in Folsköping was completely unexpected, as previous findings suggested an origin in Asia. This now needs to be reassessed, so it's a significant discovery, archaeologist Karl Juran Hörgren of the University of Gothenburg said in a statement. Pyramid in Antarctica an image of an Antarctic mountain with a unique pyramid-like shape is suddenly an internet sensation, and countless theorists are puzzling over its origin. Some wonder if an ancient civilization created the rocky, pyramid-shaped structure, and others point to outer space to speculate about alien involvement. But there is a far more mundane cause. Experts say these steep, pyramid-like rocks are likely the work of hundreds of millions of years of erosion. This is just a mountain that looks like a pyramid, said Eric Rigneau, a professor of Earth System Science at the University of California. He believes it's highly unlikely that the pyramid was created by humans. Scientists cannot absolutely explain these forbidden discoveries. Among them are impossible ancient technologies, inexplicable ruins, and mysterious artifacts. 
There are actually countless out-of-place artifacts throughout history whose existence scientists can't even begin to theorize. They are either too advanced for their dated time of discovery, or science simply doesn't know what purpose they were built for in the first place. Thanks to archaeologists and historians, we sometimes receive a vivid picture of the past. New pieces of the puzzle are constantly being discovered that either expand our understanding, change it, or simply turn it upside down. In this video, we present 10 discoveries that have amazed scientists. The Nazi Gold Train in 2015, two amateur historians in Poland claimed to have found a Nazi train allegedly full of gold using radar. Apparently, this proclamation also fits the local folklore, according to which a train with gold and precious stones disappeared near Furstenstein Castle at the end of World War II. Some suspect that it was parked in a secret tunnel. According to Polish media, the two men wanted 10% as a finder's fee. Marika Tokarska, an official of the district council, said that lawyers, the army, the police and the fire department were involved at the time. Seven days after excavations began, no tracks, tunnel or train was ever found. In 2018, one of the two historians gave up the search. He said he still believed that the train existed, but excavations had already cost him 80,000 euros and inaccuracies in the work had frustrated him. His partner, Peter Koper, continues the search to this day. Sperm 100 million years old In 2020, dozens of perfectly preserved sperm were discovered in the reproductive tract of a female microcrustacean. At 100 million years old, these are the oldest animal sperm ever discovered and date back to the Cretaceous period. This ostracot, called Myanmar cypress hui in Latin, had mated shortly before it was encased in resin. Moreover, the ostracot belongs to a completely new discovered species. Its name derives from the place it was found, Myanmar. Inside the piece of amber was a total of 39 shell crab individuals, of which 31 belonged to this new species, reaching a size of about 0.59 millimeters. Today, there are thousands of species of ostracods, and most of them produce sperm that is much longer than the animal itself. As a result, the breeding process takes quite a long time. Still, the species has prevailed to this day. Leonardo da Vinci's Thumbprint An exciting find for art historians was announced at the beginning of 2019. Thumbprints of the universal genius Leonardo da Vinci have been discovered on his works many times. The newly discovered inky specimen, however, is the clearest print found to date. It's the thumbprint of his left hand, which was also his writing hand. It was discovered on a study of female anatomy dating from about 1509. This work is one of the 144 of his rarely seen works and is owned by the Queen of England as part of the Royal Collection Trust at Windsor Castle. Due to the risk of damage from light, these works can only be displayed temporarily. Mysterious Shipwreck A shipwreck has been found near Warsaw in the Polish part of the Vistula River that experts say could be up to 700 years old. It measures almost 37 meters in length and about 6 meters in width. According to Arta Bruska of the Association of Archaeologists Jutra, it could likely carry up to 100 tons of cargo and dates from the 14th to 18th centuries. Presumably, the cargo consisted of grain and was transported to the Polish city of Gdansk. Remains of a bridge were also discovered in the Vistula River near the village of Womianki Dolne. This one, however, is more likely to date from the World War II period. Stone Age Art in the Cova de la Font Major Caves in Catalonia, discovered in 1853, Stone Age cave art with an approximate age of 15,000 years was found in 2019 during a survey, although some may be older. Studying the caves show that they have been used by humans throughout history, making them an archaeological site of great importance. The Stone Age art could indicate a sacred place or a place of worship. It's presumed the site was associated with fertility and was drawn from the fact that mainly female animals were depicted. In addition to animals such as horses and oxen, mysterious abstract symbols were discovered among the 100 or so engravings. The works are among the oldest examples of cave art in the Mediterranean region and are the oldest in all of Catalonia. The engravings are extremely fragile, and some of them have already fallen victim to time or the careless hands of visitors. 
Now the engraved walls are being copied with a 3D scanner to provide a detailed image of the art for further study and also allow interested parties to visit virtually. Ibis Mummies between 650 and 250 BC, millions of ibises were sacrificed to the ibis-headed Thoth, the Egyptian god of magic, science and wisdom. Like lighting candles today, the ibis mummies were meant to remind the god to watch over the people. Because of the large number of sacrifices, it's believed the birds were bred specifically for this purpose. Ancient texts also speak of bird farms. However, a study that determined the genetic diversity of the sacrificed birds revealed that most ibises had been caught in the wild. They may have been kept on bird farms for a short time afterwards. This insight into the techniques of the Egyptians could also explain why the extinction of the sacred ibis had occurred in Egypt. Regardless, archaeologist Francisco Bosch Puche still believes that the Egyptians bred ibis birds. He points to verifiable diseases and healed injuries of the sacrificed animals that resemble those of birds in captivity today. According to him, such birds could not have survived in the wild. Bosch Puche speculates that the food at such farms would have attracted wild ibis birds, making them easy prey and bringing diversity to the group. The fact is that Egypt at the time was a veritable mummy factory whose demand had to be satiated. Since the need was so great, even baby animals were mummified. Bear from the Ice Age The melting permafrost made it possible for a few reindeer herders to find the immaculately preserved carcass of an Ice Age cave bear on Bolshoi Lakhovsky Island in the early autumn of 2020. The bear's teeth and even nose is still completely intact. Scientists celebrated the radical new find, as only bones of cave bears have been previously discovered. This is the first time a complete cave bear carcass with soft tissue has been found, with its internal organs also still intact. Preliminary research indicated that this specimen lived about 22 to 40,000 years ago, but radiocarbon analysis is pending. Wreck of a Danish warship the Danish warship Delmenhorst was sunk in 1644 in a sea battle against a Swedish-Dutch fleet by sending it on a collision course with a Swedish vessel. The outcome of the battle had been all but decided and was partly responsible for sealing the end of Danish supremacy in Scandinavia. Only two of the 17 Danish ships escaped the Swedes in the battle and most of the rest were captured. Two of the three ships that sank were already located in 2012. In the spring of 2020, marine archaeologists also succeeded in locating the Delmenhorst. It lay on the seabed at a depth of just over 3 meters near Obdehalven. According to Morten Johansen of the Viking Ship Museum, the ship is not only of interest because it was the last ship to sink in the battle, but also because it's one of the first ships to be shored up from drawings. Tomb of Explorer Matthew Flinders After 200 years, the remains of the first explorer to circumnavigate Australia and give his name to many places on the continent were rediscovered during an HS2 excavation at Euston Station in London. During the excavations, only a fraction of the 40,000 bodies in St. James's Cemetery behind the station were exhumed, so to come across this very skeleton was extraordinarily lucky. After all, until that time, no one knew exactly where Flinders' remains was located. Even when his sister-in-law went to find his grave 38 years after his death in 1814, the exact location was no longer known. Unlike most other coffins, the explorer's nameplate was not made of pewter, but of lead, and thus still legible. Matthew Flinders is hardly a household name to most Britons today. In Australia, however, the discovery of his grave is of great significance. Disco Colgante The Disco Colgante is now in the Rafael Larco Herrero Archaeological Museum in Lima, the capital of Peru. As can be deduced from the name, the artifact is a circular disc. It was provided with six spiral-shaped incisions and in between them, lines have been engraved three times into divided sectors, which follow the same shape of the disc. Unfortunately, since it's made of copper, it cannot be dated. However, it was found in a room together with ceramics from the 16th century, but seems to belong to the Moche culture, which existed from about the 1st to 8th century along the northern coast of Peru. The inaccuracy of the existing sources thus suggests a time of origin from the 1st to the 16th century. 
the structure and design of the artifact are strongly reminiscent of today's understanding of the location of the solar system within the Milky Way. The disco Colgante even starts to thicken towards the center, which research has only recently detected in galaxies. The position of the round hole in one of the spirals would also fit approximately to the position of our Sun. In any case, the artifact is quite extraordinary and seems to fall out of any historical frame. With the help of modern technology, it's easy to capture contemporary events in images and sound. In the past, people didn't have access to this technology and had to rely on drawings and sculptures. This is possibly the reason for the often strange discoveries from all epochs of human history, which leave a lot of room for interpretation. Bally Shannon Sun Disk the sun disk was found in Ballyshannon Island in 1669. The explorers were looking for the grave of a giant buried with golden ornaments, as described in an Irish song. During their search, they came across the sun disk. The find represents the oldest and first evidence of the history of antiquities in Britain and Ireland. The disk, 5.5 cm in diameter, was made from a thin piece of gold and shows a cross surrounded by circles at its center. Experts dated the find to the period from 2500 to 2150 BC and stated that sun disks testified to the first form of gold processing in Great Britain and Ireland. Artifacts of this type usually have two small holes in the center and it's conceivable that these were buttons sewn to clothing. The sun disk shown is one of the two disks found in Ballyshannon. Both specimens were donated to the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford in 1696. The whereabouts of the second sun disk is unknown. The Giant Tomb of Koduvecu Near the town of Arzakena in northern Sardinia is a burial site of the Nurakic culture. It was dated to the Bronze Age and excavated in 1966 by Edita Castaldi. In addition to megaliths and a gallery tomb, there is the giant tomb of Koduvecu, one of the larger burial sites with a total of 321 monuments in Sardinia. Legends speak of spiritual rejuvenation that is said to transpire within the walls of the tombs. Although it's generally agreed that the sites did serve as tombs, little is known about the cultural traditions and rituals. It's unclear whether these monuments served as mass graves and were intended to provide a transition into the afterlife. Since there is much room for interpretation, some voices ascribe a supernatural element to the site. There are researchers and journalists that even claim that the giant tomb of Koduvecu is a remnant of the lost continent of Atlantis. Babylonian Tablet The discovery by science historian Matthew Osendreva of Humboldt University in Berlin sent astronomers around the world into a frenzy. Translating five clay tablets unearthed in the 19th century and stored in the British Museum in London since then, Osendreva was able to prove that astronomers from the 4th to the 1st century BC already had the ability to calculate the trajectory of the planet Jupiter. Osendreva's work also proves the geometrical calculations by the astronomers of that time. The clay tablets show the daily velocity of Jupiter at different times in its orbit. They used the data obtained on the velocities and times to calculate the distance Jupiter had traveled in the interim. Osendreva knew that four of the five clay tablets described such calculations and were related to astronomy. The discovery was remarkable, as this information was previously assumed to have only existed in 14th century Europe and is an important milestone in unraveling the knowledge of ancient civilizations and cultures. Chest with the Cross of Jesus Inside the 1,350-year-old Balatla Church in Sinop Province, Turkey, archaeologists found part of the Cross of Jesus in a stone chest. The church was once a Roman temple and was converted into a Byzantine place of worship in the 7th century. Experts believe the chest is the symbolic coffin for the relics of a holy person. The artifact found is said to be a fragment of the cross on which Jesus was crucified. In addition to the chest, the cross is also the focus of an investigation, as they are very significant finds for the region. The find is considered sacred in the Christian world, and it's located in a museum in Sinop. The search for the remaining parts of the cross of Jesus is proving to be difficult, as fragments with any connection have been scattered around the world over the past millennia. Lolodov Plate Besides Egypt, Nepal may also have been visited by extraterrestrials in the past. A witness to the visit of extraterrestrial beings is the 12,000-year-old Lolodov Plate found in Nepal. 
The decorations of these ancient disks of stone show a disk-shaped UFO and a figure that corresponds to the usual appearance of an extraterrestrial. Typical for the depiction of galaxies is the spiral drawing on the Lolodov plate. These images are found in India, Egypt, Peru, and other ancient sites on Earth. The creator or creators of this disk likely wanted to tell us with this representation that they came to Earth from a distant galaxy. Another interpretation sees the spiral shape as visualization of energy or infinity. The disk was named after its discoverer, Professor Lolodov, and is said to have been used in the rituals of the mysterious Tsopa culture. The Mysterious Figures of the Hongshan Culture the Hongshan culture was a Neolithic civilization in northeastern China between 4700 and 2900 BC. It's best known for its mysterious figurines made of jade. The craftsmanship of the Hongshan culture knew how to work the jade to create some of the most indescribable objects, impossible to reproduce even with today's technology. This raises the unanswered question of the process itself. Researchers describe the Hongshan culture as a civilization that considered jade a sacred stone. This is supported by numerous finds of statues in Hongshan burial sites. Some of the statues have a strange shape and cannot be clearly identified as they don't resemble any life form on our planet. In science, these mythological creatures are referred to as Uroboros and represent a dragon with the head of a pig. However, this opinion is not held by all, as some of the mysterious figures of Hongshan culture may depict extraterrestrial life forms. They may have been passed down from generation to generation to demonstrate contact with visitors from outer space. Some researchers consider it unlikely that the Hongshan culture could create such detailed figures without having real-life encounters. Roman Fingerprints Archaeologists were amazed when they found a sealed jar 6 cm in diameter during excavations at an ancient Roman temple complex in Southwark, London. Inside were the 2,000-year-old remains of an ointment with the fingerprints of its former owner. The vessel shows little signs of decay, and the white paste gives off a scent of sulfur. A popular theory suggests the unique find is a cosmetic cream, which is not usually discovered in such good condition. Another is that the ointment was used as face paint in a ritual ceremony. Researchers hope the presence of the fingerprint will provide clues of the owner's identity and clarify whether the ointment was used by a man or woman, or a young boy or girl. The jar is just one of many found in Southwark, but only two similar jars have been found in Greater London. The boggy soil around the site ensured the preservation of the tin box and, together with other finds, recalls the former influence of the Romans in the region. The Pyramids of Sona The Pyramids of Sona consist of eight mounds located in two rows outside the village of Sona in Romania. Sona was founded over 700 years ago by the German colonist Sasi, and there are many mysteries and legends surrounding the village on the Alt River in Transylvania. The eight mounds of the Sona pyramids are up to 30 meters high and line up in two rows according to size. The locals call them Gururieti and believe that the pyramids were built by giants because they stand out from the landscape. According to a legend, Princess Sona ruled the land many years ago. One day, giants coming over the Fagara Mountains invaded her kingdom. As the giants crossed the Alt River, a lot of mud stuck to their feet, which they shook off, creating the pyramids of Sona. Another legend from the time of the Dacian tribes tells of riches that are said to be buried inside the hills. Historians see the pyramids of Sona as tombs of Celtic barbarians. Mother Shipton's Cave Mother Shipton, whose civil name was Ursula Sothiel or Sonthiel, was a fortune teller born in Nesborough, England in 1488 and believed to have died in 1561. Throughout her life, she gained notoriety through fortune-telling and prophetic verses, which were published 80 years after her death in the biography entitled The Life and Death of Mother Shipton by Richard Head. According to the book, Mother Shipton was said to have been born in a cave in Nesborough in Yorkshire, which is aptly named Mother Shipton's Cave. The book contains divinations about the plague and the Great Fire of London. Thor's Hammer an artifact in the form of a 10th century hammer was found on the Danish island of Lolland. The artistic decoration suggests that it's a depiction of Thor's hammer. The object was cast in bronze and has traces of silver plating, pewter and gold. 
Vikings believed in the protective power of their gods and carried these objects on their travels religiously. Doubts still arise as to whether this artifact symbolizes Thor's hammer, as the handle is too short. So far, its origin is unclear. Quite often, after discoveries are made, stories and legends come to the surface, which tend to obscure rational explanations. Perhaps you have your own interpretation on the discoveries shared in this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments below.